This is your Power Hour update for July 16th. It's Friday. Welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. This is the show where we try to give you all the news you need before the market closes. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the Tip Ranks YouTube channel. I'm Richard Allen. This is your Power Hour update for Friday, July 16th. We're going to jump right over to tipranks.com and cover the major indices first before we get into your stock market news and of course your top gainers and losers in the market today. All right, the S&P 500 is down 0.35% on the day, followed by the Dow Jones pretty much same thing we've got them down 0.43 percent today and the nasdaq also down 0.29 percent today but bitcoin is bucking the trend they are up 0.73 percent today just over thirty two thousand dollars per coin all right in stock market news we have moderna Corsair. we also have verizon and a deal with ericsson so let's jump over to your stock market news First, we're going to cover Moderna to replace Alexion in the S&P 500. This is big, big news for ticker symbol MRNA. A lot of us know about Moderna recently because of the coronavirus vaccines. This company will replace Alexion Pharmaceuticals, which will soon be acquired by AstraZeneca. The news prompted the shares of Moderna to surge as much as 6% in early trading on Friday. Moreover, the company hit a market value of $110 billion. Shares of the company have surged about 150% year to date. The rise can be attributed to its unflat faltering focus on flattening the COVID-19 curve and aggressive steps to develop effective COVID-19 vaccines and boosters. Moreover, Moderna is also developing several promising candidates as medication for oncology and other rare diseases. Moderna, ticker symbol MRNA, today is trading at 8% up today at $280.23. This comes in with a moderate buy based on 13 analyst ratings with an average downside now of 28.5%. All right, in other news, we have Cosair and Elgato launching face cam and shares popped in pre-market. It might be a different story once we look at the stock today, though. Elgato is a unit of Cosair Gaming. They launched a new professional-grade webcam face cam along with four more products to facilitate content creators. Cosair provides high-performance gear for gamers and content creators, while Elgato provides hardware and software for streamers and content creators caught in the meme stock frenzy since june the stock has lost 9.3 percent in the past month while gaming gaining 112.4 percent year to date let's check how corsair ticker symbol crsr is doing today they're actually down almost two percent however take a peek at this three analyst ratings giving this a strong buy with an average upside of almost 70 percent over the past the next year so big big upside potential for Cosair gaming all right we have verizon inking a deal with ericsson this is a big 8.3 billion dollar 5g deal with ericsson here they've signed a multi-year agreement in which ericsson will provide 5g solutions to accelerate the deployment of verizon's next generation 5G network in the United States. The deal will allow Verizon to enhance the and expand its 5G ultra wideband coverage network, performance, and user experience. Notably, the technological solutions provided by Ericsson, including massive MIMO, Ericsson Spectrum Sharing, and Ericsson Cloud RAN, are part of the high performance Ericsson radio system portfolio to support 5G devices. Verizon, let's see how they are doing on this deal. Ticker symbol VZ is up slightly, 0.16%. This comes with a hold rating based on 11 analyst ratings with an average upside of just over 6%. Ericsson, however, massively different story here for ticker symbol ERIC, down almost 11% today. This does come with a moderate buy, though, however, with four analyst ratings with an average upside of 77.29% for Ericsson. 
All right, let's jump over to your biggest gainers and losers today. Number five on the list is no surprise. We have ticker symbol ERIC or Ericsson down 10.6% today. In the number four spot, we have GSX Tech EDU, ticker symbol GOTU, down 11.5% today. In the number three spot, another education company, TAL Education Group, ticker symbol TAL, down 10% on the day as well. And then we have Turquoise Hill Resources. Ticker symbol TRQ down just over 15% on the day. And take a peek at this. The number one biggest loser on the day is Fibrogen. Ticker symbol FGEN down over 45% on the day. I do have an article pulled up here for Fibrogen. They slumped on Friday as an advisory committee of the FDA rejected the company's proposed inhibitor to treat anemia in adult patients suffering from chronic kidney disease. Now, this is not a binding uh, refusal of the drug. The agency considers these recommendations when making its decision, so it's still a chance that this drug will get approved, but at this point, it is unlikely, and that is what's going on with Fibrogen and the top loser today down 45%. Bad, bad news for Fibrogen. All right, in your top gainers, we have Global E Online up almost 8% today. Ticker symbol there is GLBE. We have Relay Therapeutics, ticker symbol RLAY, up 7% on the day as well. And then we have ACV Auctions, ticker symbol ACVA, up 7% as well. Moderna, another one of the companies we talked about already, ticker symbol MRNA, up 7.5%. And then Headhunter Group, ticker symbol HHR, up almost 10% today. Guys, that is all I have for you for your Power Hour update for Friday, July 16th. Enjoy the rest of your trading day and enjoy the weekend ahead. I will see you on Monday for another Power Hour update and then look forward to another video from me today. Guys, take care.